we came back uh, after conceding the goal. We showed how much we wanted. So we created some situation, and after halftime, we corrected a few things. We came back really strong in the game, scored a good goal. And when we had the best moments, uh, again, we shoot ourselves in the foot, and then obviously it makes it really hard. Yeah, are you a bit frustrated? I frustrated having to explain red cards. That's three in five league games now, isn't it? It's uh, very difficult to compete in this league when you play as well for such a long period with, with 10 men and uh, we are struggling for the results. It makes it even more complicated, but I think that the boys stand up for it and they showed again um, a lot of characters and resilience and they never gave up. Um, and after 1-0, I was worried because after this moment, um, you can start to see players hiding and they did completely the opposite. Yeah, Oba was saying in his interview on the pitch side there that players can lose their call a bit when you need points like you do now and get a bit nervous. Do you think that's what happened to Gabriel? Well, I don't know. I was really disappointed um, with the two yellow cards, one on Danny and one on Gabby, because there were many other incidents in the first half that they didn't get the yellow cards. And obviously that is going to affect your game. And, um, and then obviously the second one, yeah. Was, Sammy, was, exactly. <laughs> Sammy. Hi, Mikhail. I, 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 as you said, it's only, a, it's only a draw, but could that result and the manner of the result, given that you had to, you know, you had to show a lot of courage there in the second half, could that be, I don't know, one of the one of the most important results of your season, one that can one that can galvanise you and something tangible to actually hold on to? Yeah, I agree. Yes, because at the end. Um, if you would have lost the game again, that would be, again, um, a really difficult one to take. Um, and yeah, the, the players showed uh, what we expect them for them to do. Uh, Sometimes with more or less quality, uh, but at least the work is there. I saw all the players that were, they weren't participating and they were on the stands shouting and being right behind the team and leaving the game with them, which is a really a strong signal as well. And I'm really pleased with that as well. Dan from Sun. Hi, Mikel. Um, in his post-match interview, um, Theo Walcott said he could tell that there was a lot of fear in the Arsenal team in the in the certainly in the early parts of the game. Could you could you see what he meant as well? And what did he say to you in your conversation after the match? I don't know. I was going to say that I just spoke with him, and he never mentioned that to me. Uh, he mentioned other things, but not that. I don't know if he said that. It's uh, his feeling. But do you but do you, do you feel I mean clearly when you, a team's in a bad run, um, confidence is, confidence is low. How you know what can you do to 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 give them that confidence so they they can express themselves? Just to play with freedom and to enjoy the profession as well, and um, and be accountable when you go on that pitch that you do your best. And then there are a lot of things that we cannot control, and and try to protect them as much as possible and give them comfort. But uh, yeah, you see there are four or five situations in the first half. We are around the box. We are inside the six-year box to finish the action. It should be a goal and it is lacking. But in the second half, Oba scored. And hopefully this unlocks a little bit because individual is a player that they needs that moment. And um, and hopefully things will change like uh, Sammy said before. Charles? Hi, Mikhail. I just wanted to pick up on that, actually. You mentioned it there about Oba scoring that goal. I mean, what can that do? for his season. The fact he was also open play as well, the first goal for, since the game against Fulham. Hopefully he's going to change everything dramatically and he's going to start to score every game uh, because this is what we need at the moment. Uh, we need the points. In order to do that, we need to score many more goals and uh, and be more efficient when we have the chances. So I think he was he's going to make him um, really good. You saw the reaction when he scored it. I mean, did, have you seen a change in him already in a, in a change room or just that a sort of weight coming off his shoulders after a, a goal like that? I don't have to to, to see. It. I'm sure that uh, he's going to take a lot of pressure off him and, and he's going to release him as well. Thanks, Mikael. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Oh,